The $165 million tax office fraud scandal has taken a new dramatic turn with police swooping on a tenth person at the airport. The entrepreneur founded the company at the centre of the alleged scam. A high flyer, no more. Simon Anquetil, CEO and frontman of Plutus Payroll, at the centre of Australia's largest alleged tax fraud, was today ducking for cover. No comment. He's charged with conspiring to cause loss of $83.7 million. The number's less than the total alleged fraud, $165 million, because he resigned from Plutus last year. Family members outside court sought to protect Anquetil's identity. Get him inside. Get him inside. It was a different picture to six months ago. Anquetil was named Entrepreneur Owner of the Year by the prestigious Australian Institute of Management. In 2015, he lured in customers with offers to meet and greet ex-Miss World, Erin Holland. Part of Anquetil's fortune was spent buying a letter from King's Cross famous Coke sign. Everyone knows the Coke sign. Everyone at my age has stumbled their way under it. Meantime, Deputy Tax Commissioner Michael Cranston was locked down inside his family home. He faces allegations of defrauding the Commonwealth that carry a maximum sentence of 10 years jail. There was no sign of son Adam or daughter Lauren, both charged over the alleged fraud. Treasurer Scott Morrison spoke exclusively to Nine News to assure the community that systems inside the tax office are secure and can be trusted. There will be crooks in all sorts of places and it's our job to make sure we catch them and we have the right internal processes to be able to shut all of these sorts of things down. The Inspector General of Tax is also ready to launch an investigation into the tax office if it's needed. We've been told that um, uh, nothing's been compromised. At the moment, I guess to the extent that the community may require further assurance from an independent party, well, that's where I would come in. Simon Anquetil has been released on $100,000 bail on the condition that he surrender his passport and that he remain in this apartment block. Now, he rents here, but he also bought a separate apartment here last October for $2.8 million. The charges against Anquetil carry a maximum 10-year jail sentence. His stellar business career, it seems, has hit a bum note. The case will return to court on August 8. Ross Greenwood, Nine News.